Hello pointers, so I've made it into the classroom today and I thought I would go ahead and make a short video showing you a couple of the tiles that I have done in the past along with the students um, as examples of our tile texture pattern project. So we're going to basically make a square slab of clay and then in that slab of clay we are going to create different textures or patterns by impressing into the clay or building on top of the clay couple of these particular tiles have a stain that's been painted on them. It's called red iron oxide and then we wash it away and the stain stays in the crevices of our design and kind of makes the design show up a little bit better. So in each of the little areas of my design I've created a different, a different texture, a different pattern. Uh, for instance, this is a piece of string that was impressed in and repeated, so that kind of creates a texture or pattern. This was the end of a pen or a cap of a pen that was impressed. You can see here these were little tiles or little bricks that were cut out and attached to the surface. These are little cubes or squares of clay that are attached. They don't have to be the same size. They can be different. And this is basically a screw that was laid sideways and impressed into the clay. So in each of the areas that you create or spaces you create in your design, you're going to impress into the clay or build onto the clay to create a different texture or pattern. So here's one example. I'll go through and show you a couple. This is yet another one. Again, it has the red iron oxide stain on it. Um, this is just the end of a screw that's impressed into the clay. These are tiny little balls of clay that are um, molded by pinching the clay and then attached. These are tiny little balls that are flattened down by pressing onto the clay. And then again we got another cap of a different type of uh, Phillips screw and then tiny little cones. So if I kind of tilt it or hold it at an angle you can see that it's got depth that it's built up as well as impressed in and that's what we're looking for in this first assignment. Here's another one yet again. Sometimes the stain comes out a little different depending on the type of clay that was used and again same thing we're impressing onto the surface and building up from the surface. So then the next four examples that I have are the exact same clay but they don't have a stain on them. Um, these just have a clear glaze so it has a shiny surface or a shiny finish to it. We won't be able to finish ours because we're not here in the classroom where we can fire them but you can kind of get the impression. Um, again, impressing into the clay, building up areas of the clay, trying to come up with different ideas using different objects. You can turn them. There's no real top side, bottom side, just uh, whichever way you want to go ahead and turn it. Again, the cap of a marker, um, the back side of some sort of square tool, um, again, the screw that was laid sideways and pressed into the clay. And then the other areas are just built up areas. Okay. A couple more here I'll show you. Same type of idea. You can see I like using the screws because it picks up the threads of the screw as well as the tip or the cap of the, of the screw. Um, you could use a bolt the same way. Um, little kind of feather-like shapes of clay overlaid and overlapped so that it creates kind of um, almost like a scale um, kind of effect. Caps of a pen and then some little built-up areas as well. So you can kind of see. It takes a little time to do all those things if you get intricate with it, but it gives you a really neat effect when you finish. And we'll go with one last one here. This is another one. Again, I don't know that it matters which direction you turn it, um, but lots of tiny little balls of various sizes of clay that are then cross-hatched and slipped onto the clay surface. I'll be explaining more about how to do that um, as we get into our tile. This was a little clip on a pin. It's got a little squiggly and a little round shape on the end. Um, and then just more objects like uh, the cap of a bolt or the cap of a marker. I think this was a pencil lead holder. Um, so just coming up with different objects that you can impress into the clay 
different ideas of shapes you can build onto the clay. So what I might suggest is, as you're at home and you are looking at these and hopefully getting ideas, be looking around your house for different objects that you could impress into clay that you think would make a nice shape or a nice pattern, um, a nice impression. You might look for things like bolts and screws, maybe earrings, bottle caps, um, caps of markers or pens, uh, just anything that will make a neat impression and, and make it unique to your tile. Uh, be looking and collecting those things and uh, that way you'll have them all set to go when we start working on our tile. All right, have a great day.